Yoka Bambomti Chini Tanchu Mungong to Hold on one second. Mr. Brooks, do you have an objection? Nothing's... I thought I was supposed to I thought I was supposed to be unmuted. You are now. All right. Uh, attorney Opera, you may start. Thank you. <laughs> Is you excited like I'm excited? Did you see it? Was it a dookie butt? It was a dookie butt. OMG. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm only excited because, like, this is was my life. It was my life for months and months and months. I'm not excited because, again, it was my life for months and months and months. So, I'm going to tell you, this is not the comeback. <laughs> Don't call it a comeback. I am not about to do a whole bunch of Dookie Butt videos, but I do appreciate getting to 1,000 subscribers, no matter how I got there. And and this is my shit right here. This is my thing. I can't wait for Sarah Boone <laughs> to do her trial. Oh my Jesus. Please, Lord Jesus. Please, please, please. Everybody pray by your heads. Moment of silence. Let her somehow represent herself. But even if she don't, please give her something. Give her something. You gotta let them get you on the stand. And you gotta get this at least 10 days. If we can get it there, I'll be happy. But until I get to my Sarah Boone. <laughs> I decided to let me do a little bit of Daryl Brooks to pay homage, to pay respects, to tell you I appreciate you for helping me make it this far. Again, I'm not getting back into it because I'm not watching these hours and hours and hours. And YouTube broke my little raggedy heart when I had to delete all them videos. So now I'm going to post it, get a little bit of Dookie Butt money, and uh, get y'all what y'all actually subscribe to this page for. I appreciate y'all who stuck around, who liked the other stuff. I'm tr still trying to figure out which way I'm going to go. But um, just for now, it's just for fun. I just read a lot. I'm really trying to get into reading for some odd reason. Um... And I'm going to be making sure I like link everything. I'm trying to start a little um, link tree with all the documents that I'm, I'm reading as well. Um, if Dookie Butt come out with anything else, I definitely will read it. If he write me a letter, I think I might write him a letter. I don't think he read them letters because he probably gets so many. But I think I'm going to write him a letter. Um, him and Sarah Boone. <laughs> and see if I get a response. Because I tell you, I know I will have made it. Like I will say, yes, I am a YouTuber officially. If either one of them write me something back if i get to read my own letter my own jail letter to me oh my god at that point i probably would read my address just because i want to read every inch of every bit of a response that they gave me oh my god i'm i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm gonna write him a letter i think one day i got questions i got questions i just i honestly want to see if he would write me back <laughs> As long as he ain't watched my channel, I think I could get him to write me back. You know what I want to do? I want to write some of his lyrics of his song inside of the message. Like, if I can slip them in there and see if he notices them, I think that would be a good idea. I think that would be a good idea. Oh, maybe I can try to do that with Sarah Boone. I don't know. I'm trying to figure some stuff out, but I'm trying to have fun in the meantime as well because I don't want to look at it like a job. If I do it like a job, it ain't going to be fun, so... I'm sorry, I didn't digress. Let's get into this Daryl, a.k.a. Darrell, a.k.a. Dookie Bud Brooks production. <laughs> Yay me, sponsored by me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> People enact laws. People want to feel safe. People have representatives in Madison or Washington, D.C. that set standards, rules that we all are expected to live by. And when those rules are violated, prosecutors step in and enforce the law. Daryl Brooks does not represent anybody. He does not have a client. Daryl Brooks is the client. Daryl Brooks is the defendant. The state of Wisconsin is the plaintiff. It's really that simple. And it's consistent with any other criminal case you've ever heard about at any other time in any other jurisdiction. It runs the same, no matter what state, state or federal. I'm gonna ask you for your guilty vote at the end of my comments. It's up to you. I can't tell you to do anything, except I'm going to say one thing to you that I wholeheartedly ask you to obey. 
Attorney Upper, I'm sorry for the interruption. Your objection, sir? A mischaracterization of who I am and the way it was said. Uh, I feel like it, it was talking down. All right, your objections noted, it's overruled. The statement continue. You must not, not, not consider anything about Daryl Brooks other than his conduct in downtown Waukesha on the evening of November 21, 2021. Nothing he's done before that, nothing he's done since that. When you go back to that deliberation room, please obey Judge Doro. Confine your comments to his conduct on November 21 of 21. Is he guilty of the 76 counts that he's been charged with? That and solely that should be your topic of discussion. Sir, do you see Daryl Brooks in this photograph? Objection. I don't consent to being called that name again for the record. No, Dave, <clears throat> overruled. Yes, I do. Can you identify or, excuse me, shh, excuse me, describe the clothing items that you see him wearing in this photograph? So it's not oh, it's not in the jury box yet. I'm sorry. You can state your objection, though. Leading. Overruled. The witness may answer. Mr. Brooks is wearing a red t-shirt, blue jeans, and he has blue colored flip-flops on with white socks. And what's the uh, date and time stamp for this photograph, please? It's 11-21-2021 at 13 colon 26 colon 08 hours. That would be 126 p.m. Any other questions, sir? Domestic violence is, and that's why we somebody, talking. one of the parties, mm -hmm. me or her, have to physically put our hands or, 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 you know, like a push or like a choke or like a kick or a grab or like, you know, I grabbed her up or something like that or she grabbed me or then I can see, I can see people saying, okay, it's a domestic violence because y'all was in a heated argument mm -hmm. and you grabbed her or you choked her or you slapped her or you punched her or kicked her or pushed her down. Or, yep. And and we and, talked about and that. And then that would be like, yeah. And I told you that she didn't mess. excuse you any of that stuff yesterday. All right, but we're beyond that. Yeah. Be right back, girl. Okay, no problem. No problem. Like I said, man, I ain't, I ain't trying to be all uh, crazy. But yeah. Was it a parade happening in Waukesha that day when you woke up that morning? I didn't know about the parade. Okay, what about that afternoon? Did it become apparent to you that something yes. was going on? Yes. Did you come into contact with Daryl Brooks on the afternoon of November 21st, 2021? Yes. Where did you first come into contact with Mr. Brooks? At Frame Park. And uh, how did that come about? What were you doing and why did he get there? We were messaging and calling each other all day. We were arguing back and forth. He came out there. Well, I told him I was with Miss Corey. Um, and he came out there, I told him where I was, got in his car, we drove around, and then I forgot the street. We went up that street, it's a hill, it's kind of by the Walgreens. Um, we went up that hill, we drove around, me and him got into an altercation. He hit me in my eye, I jumped out of the car, walked and found my way back by Frame Park, um, and then he followed me there. And then I went back in his car and I got out, and I had called Corey, well I called Corey before that, and she came to meet me. I told her that me and him got into an altercation. So she met up with me, and by the time she got there, um, she pulled me out the way because his car turned around. He swerved. She pulled me out of the way. He got out of his car, and they got into an altercation. He pushed her in her face. And I don't remember if she hit him back or anything that, that, that we walked away and walked back to the women's shelter. Okay. Let's go back. Uh, at what point did you split up with Corey? Um, when Daryl was on his way, Corey and Nick had left, so I sat there and waited for him. We were still arguing on the phone, but I waited for him. Okay. 
Um, describe for us what happened when Mr. Brooks first arrived in Frame Park when you first saw him that day. We were still arguing, pretty much. He was already in a bad mood when he met up with me anyway. This is an argument that face-to-face -face using words, not messaging, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Did you get in the vehicle? Yes. Okay. And what happened next? We drove around and we were arguing and that's when we got into the altercation in the car and that's when I jumped out. We were up the hill. How did Daryl arrive? That is, he didn't, he didn't walk to Waukesha. He drove okay. in his mother's car. It was the red, was it a Ford, I believe? I'm not sure what kind of car, but it was the red. All right. Um, you described going up a hill, right? Yes. Did you cross the river before you did that? No. Okay. What happened once you got up at the top of the hill? He drove up farther more, and then that's when I jumped. It was on that up the hill, it was farther more, and then that's when we, he hit me and I um, jumped out of his car. Well, his mother's car. Where were you sitting when he hit you? The passenger side front seat. Where was he sitting? Driver's side. What did he use to hit you? His hand. Was it an open hand, a closed fist? Yes. What was it? Like this, sorry, like his open hand. Okay. But Permission granted. Was it supposed to be for the witness only? The exhibit's previously been received and the state requested permission to publish it once again and it was I granted that request. So when, just so I'm clear, when it's uh, published again, then it's correct. Um, when it's when I say permission to publish granted, that means it will be shown to the courtroom and to the jury. Okay, I, I didn't understand That's that. That's okay. Ms. Patterson, who's that in the in the picture? That's me. And that photograph was taken? The day of the parade. November 21st? Yes. The night? Yes. Okay. And what injuries uh, do we see in that video, in that photograph? That is my um, left eye that was swollen. Your left eye would have been the eye closest to the defendant? Uh, yeah. Based on your description of where you and the defendant were sitting in the vehicle? Yes. Okay. And how did you sustain that injury? From him, Mr. Brooks, when he hit me. Do you recall being uh, near a gas station while this argument was happening? Yes. Objection irrelevant. Yes. Over, hold on. Overruled, she may answer, and the answer she provided may stand. Yes. It was right at the light. The gas station on the oh, that's a gas station on the left, and then Walgreens is towards the right. And uh, do you remember what was being said <coughs> at the gas station? I do not remember. Okay. That's the intersection uh, we had stopped at. Uh, we were coming southwest on North Street, which at the time is a one way. Uh, and stopped at the intersection of, uh, of East North Street and Barstow with a gas station on our left. Okay. Does the uh, photograph in exhibit number seven accurately represent that intersection to the best of your knowledge, sir? Yes, ma'am. All right. Move to admit uh, and permission to publish number seven, please. Any position on that, Mr. Brooks? Yeah, I object. It's irrelevant. Your objection is noted. It's overruled. Exhibit 7 is received. Permission to publish is granted. Just waiting for it to come up on the screen here for everybody to see. Okay. So the uh, Roadway is clearly marked as North Street, and the other uh, roadway is clearly marked as Northwest Barstow Street. Do you see that, sir? Yes, ma'am. And then the big square kind of on the middle right-hand side of the exhibits is the gas station, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. This is actually a touch screen in front of you, so I'm going to ask you to please mark with an X where you were positioned on North Street. And North Street is a one-way street, is that correct, sir? Yes, ma'am. What's the direction of travel, if you could uh, mark it in a spot, not near where we're going to need to point out other yeah. things? <laughs> yeah, so this is okay. the one-way. Okay, perfect. And uh, 
What about Barstow Street? Is that uh, one way or two way, if you know? I believe it's a two way. Okay. And um, did you stop at that intersection, sir? There's that's a controlled intersection. Yes, uh, we were stopped at the red light. Okay. And you were in that uh, left hand lane. It's a two lane street there. Or uh, three lanes, maybe. Two or three. There might be. It looks like there's a turn lane there. So. Okay. And uh, so you're stopped at the lane closest to the gas station. That's correct. And what happened as you're sitting there, sir? Uh, so uh, about the same time as we were coming up uh, to stop at the stoplight, uh, there was a vehicle that would uh, that made a left from Barstow onto the wrong way to go to the wrong way on North Street uh, and stopped right up against uh, our vehicle. So, okay, could you just draw the travel, the, the path of travel that you just described, please? Yeah. What kind of vehicle was this, sir? Uh, it was a red SUV. Kind of an older model. Do so. you know uh, maker model specifically or not um, really? At the time, no. No, okay. I, I wouldn't be able to say. Just a red SUV. So. Okay. And you've already indicated that's the wrong way to be going on North Street. Correct. Yeah. What did you do when you saw this red SUV turning the wrong way into your path of travel? Uh, we, we kind of approached that stop line at the same time. Uh, and so... Uh, we were really uh, with the other vehicle hood to hood uh, and again my wife and two kids are in the car uh, and the driver of the other vehicle kind of put up their hands you know i could see through the two windshields uh, that the other driver put up their hands uh, and was kind of uh, gesturing wildly like uh, again i don't know if mouthing is the right word but kind of frantically uh, it seemed upset at us uh, that we were you know either going the wrong way or uh, so i kind of did the same thing uh, just put my put my hands up and just kind of was confused because uh, we were coming up to a stoplight and then a car like uh, had approached us uh, and was was hood to hood okay did you stay parked hood to hood or what happened uh, so the the person in the other vehicle kind of uh, made mention with like a knife hand to his right my left uh, to go in to, to go in maybe towards the gas station he was kind of pointing uh, to go into the to the driveway of the, of the gas station uh, so I looked in my rearview mirror. There was no one parked behind me at the time, uh, and other than that vehicle having to maybe back back up into the intersection, I could see that uh, they were motioning to go into the driveway of the of the gas station. Okay, is can you point out the driveway, please, for the jury? Uh, yeah, it's just it's just an open open driveway here. Okay. Um, so I uh, put the car in reverse, backed up maybe five feet. Uh, and then the the vehicle drove into the uh, into the gas station parking lot. Do you know who was driving that car? Um, again, windshield to windshield, we were you know somewhat able to identify you know basic features. Uh, but when the car drove into the parking lot, uh, it kind of stopped, positioned itself at an angle, and the driver rolled down the window. Okay. Um, should I draw where they stopped? Sure. So the vehicle drove in and kind of stopped on a diagonal like this. All right, uh, and you're still stopped at the stoplight? Correct, there? still stopped at the stoplight. Okay. Uh, so the other driver rolled down the window uh, of their vehicle. I just, as a reaction, also rolled down the window of my, I don't, I don't know why, it's just a reaction of, uh, so the, the other driver rolled down their window uh, maybe halfway uh, and stuck his head out and kind of looked back. Uh, and he, he said, you know, why didn't you get out of the way? And I'm trying to get gas. And I said, well, it's a one way. Okay. You're going the wrong way down the runway. Well, I'm telling you, I need to get gas. And I go, oh, okay, man. And then it was it was a green light, and then we proceeded. So. Okay. Do you think you can identify the driver of that red SUV? Um, yes, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Do you see that person present in this courtroom here? I, I do, yeah. Your Honor, I'm going to ask that Mr. Brooks be instructed to remove his mask temporarily. Mr. Brooks, you're instructed to take off your mask temporarily and look up, please. Thank you. So at the time, it was a lot more dark facial hair features and longer hair as well. So because uh, okay. again, I would have saw uh, through the windshield once, but then also with the window rolled down, kind of looking back. So maybe just like the the forehead and then the long, you know, mass of hair. Sure. So different than he looks today with kind of a clean shaven or very short hairstyle yes, and scruff or um, stubble on his chin. Yes, ma'am. Okay, but you do think it was Daryl Brooks that was driving that car based on seeing him in court here today? I do, ma'am. Okay. What happened when you got past the gas station? 
I kept walking, he was still following me. Did you at any point attempt to contact anybody for help? No, just Corey, about, but towards, towards the, um, the frame park. Where did you go? I walked past frame park and I went, um, I met Corey and well, I got into his car and then got back out and I met Corey at White Rock School, I believe it is. When you say his car, you're, you're talking about who? Daryl Brooks. And uh, were you familiar with White Rock School at the time? Did you, you ever no. been there before? No. You just know that from That's talking about this afterwards? Yes, yes. Okay. What happened when you got to White Rock School? <laughs> That's when I had, because I had got there, got back in his car, talked to him, got back out. Corey had met. She snatched me out of the, um, out of the way because he swerved his car when he made a U-turn and then that's when he got out of the car and they were arguing and he hit her in her face and then I think she pushed him back I don't recall and then I was trying to split them up at the time after that we just kept walking and went to the women's shelter who's we? me and Miss Corey uh, Madam Clerk could we please have the state's rear table projected for the witness I've projected on the screen in front of you a video marked as State's Exhibit Number Four. Do you see the screen? Yes. Have you seen this video before? Yes. Um, what does it depict, or what, what's in this video? What are we going to see here? You're going to see me walking, and you're going to see him um, turning the car back around and Corey meeting up with me in the altercation they had. Does this video accurately show what happened in front of the White Rock School on November 21st of 2021? Yes. And move Exhibit 4 into evidence and request permission to publish. Any objections? Yes, uh, we haven't even played the video. How do we know what's even in the video at this point? Can we see the video before it is admitted into evidence? Your objection is noted. The foundation has been laid. Exhibit 4 is received. And permission to publish is granted. Shut off the poly. I think it's the polycom system that's oh, yeah, taking up the screen. Yep. Timestamp of fifty one seconds in this exhibit. Actually, can we pause quick? Paused at 1.04, and just to clarify, Ms. Patterson, we're gonna watch portions of the video, we're not gonna talk while it's playing, and then when it's paused, I'll ask you questions, okay? Okay. Right. Resume at 1.04. pause. We've paused at one minute and 37 seconds. Ms. Patterson, uh, who did we see in the video there walking? Me. Okay. And we saw a red SUV, right? Yes. Who was driving that SUV? Daryl Brooks. Was there anybody else in the vehicle at that point to your knowledge? Nope. Okay. Let's resume playing.
pause there. At 4 minutes and 17 seconds, the two people who just entered the screen from the right, do you know who they are? Corey and Nick. Do you know which is which? Corey's on the left, Nick's on the right. Let's resume playing. six minutes and three seconds. Now, Ms. Patterson, we, we watched the video, but you were there. Can you tell us what was happening during that portion of the video we just watched? Corey and Mr. Brooks were arguing, and that's when he pushed her in her face, and then she, I don't recall what she did back, and then that's when he drove off. One of them, I think it was Nick, called the police, um, and that's when he drove off. Do you remember what Nick said when he called the police? I believe Nick said he had a knife if I recall, um, but he didn't have one, but I, that's what Nick said on the phone. When you say he, who are you talking about? Daryl Brooks. Okay. And you didn't see Mr. Brooks with a knife that day? No. What about Nick? Did you see him with a knife? No. Did you have a knife? No. Corey? No. Why do you think Nick said to the police that there was a knife? Probably to make them come faster. Okay. Um, who got into the driver's seat at the end of that video? Daryl Brooks. And again, anybody in the vehicle at that point? No. Other than him? No. At the moment when Mr. Brooks um, left the, the little physical scuffle that we saw there and got into the driver's seat, how would you describe his demeanor? He was angry. Okay. How do you know that? What was he saying or doing that led you to believe that? Besides the fact that he was arguing the whole time and he hit me, he was just mad. He just left very angry. He just drove off fast. He was mad they called the cops. Okay. Uh, you don't recall any specific things that he said at that point? No. I'm sorry, I want to back up one step before I leave the gas station. Did it appear to you as though Mr. Brooks was alone in the car? Uh, yes, it did. You only saw one person in that car? That's correct. At that point. The objection is overruled. His answer may stand. Did you see any black female subjects walking in the area during this time? No, ma'am. Okay. Uh, Ms. Patterson, did you consent in any way to being struck in the face? No. That's all I have for this one. All right, that was the too basic to be bougie version of part one, <laughs> I guess. Uh, Daryl Brooks' journey to the parade. Um, this is like the prequel. This is the crime before the crime. Like, this is what I ultimately feel like set him off enough to give him enough courage to actually do what he did. Although courage is generally used in a very positive fashion, everything takes courage. Everything you do in your day-to-day -day life, good or bad, takes courage. He doesn't think of himself as this type of person. 
If you've watched this trial, if you've watched what he said, if you watch his interrogation, he does not think he is a, that bad of a person. It took courage. It took enough strength in him to create, I'm, I'm sorry, to commit such a horrible act. And the only way he was able to get that courage is through rage. He was in such a rage um, due to his need to control. He needs to control. He is the God himself. He is the almighty powerful. I don't know. However you want to put it. But yeah. So like I said, this is just my part one. My prequel. His journey to the parade. And I'm going to be working on. Because it's going to take me a minute. I haven't started yet. Um, the crime. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with the actual parade itself I, I, I might be honest with you I might just do like his take on it I don't know I don't know I don't know but I don't really want to use any victims testimonies and I don't want to use any of the closing uh, not the close the impact statements from the victims families so if you got any suggestions let me know down in the comments below if not I'm going to be working on it. I'm going to be working on it. I'm going to figure it out. And I'll let you know if I decide I'm going to skip it and just go right to the running. Because wait till we get to the running. <laughs> oh, my Jesus. Yeah. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're going to stick around. I hope you're going to come back. Whatever position you're in. <laughs> Let's keep it that way. All right, y'all. Bye.